A stay-at-home order forced car dealerships to close, and the hurt goes way beyond the dealerships. The state is losing out on thousands of tax dollars with each lost sale. Kyra Seven's Gary Horker is live right now in Sumner, and Gary, some dealerships were offering to sell cars online to protect customers. As a matter of fact, this dealership I'm at right now offered live stream sales, Monique. That means that you could negotiate and buy a rig just like this, just on your phone. And they were selling, believe it or not, a hundred of these high-end pickup trucks every single month. And that meant that our state was making almost $450,000 in revenue just from this lot alone. That's a lot of money, right? Well, just this week, this dealership had to lay off 80% of its workers, 200 of their 270 workers, and now they're wondering if the governor is listening. As you can see, there's nobody here. So there'd be salespeople. There'd be salespeople at every other desk because we're having social distancing right now. Until this week, Phil Mitchell was the biggest employer in the city of Sumner as the owner of the largest Chevy dealership in the state. But when Governor Inslee's stay at home order left out car dealers as essential services, everything here shut down for the first time ever. Just in the last couple days, we've had to go from basically being a thriving car dealership to we have no retail sales. We're not allowed to sell cars. When the coronavirus outbreak mandated social distancing, dealerships tried a new local technology called LotVid, where you can negotiate, buy, and trade in cars without ever leaving your home. You can do anything you want. We can take you on a virtual test drive in it. We can do everything you want live streaming. But even those kinds of sales were shut down. We're not really even allowed to deliver the car, according to what the governor said. We had two people approach us knocking on the window wanting to look on rigs and unfortunately you know we couldn't get keys and show them. Now the cost of the shutdown to our state revenue is staggering. Car dealers generate an estimated 171 million dollars in taxes. Phil Mitchell figured the state needed tax dollars now more than ever. This truck's probably about fifty thousand dollars so yeah average sales tax in the state's probably between nine and ten percent so that's about five thousand dollars per vehicle that the state's not getting. It's a lot of money. He's hoping the governor might loosen restrictions for at least online sales. If the governor said you can resume selling cars, would you hire those people back? Right tomorrow. Now? Tomorrow. They'd all be here tomorrow working. It's worth pointing out, folks, that other states like Oregon, our neighbors, are allowing car dealerships to remain open as an essential service. So dealers are now around the state asking the governor for a little bit of flexibility. Can they remain open for online sales, for virtual sales, and proper social distancing? And they're doing that in mass. There are hundreds of dealerships in the state that are shut down and a lot of people out of work. We will keep you posted as that, as that effort continues. And we're live tonight in Sumner. I'm Gary Horker, Cairo 7 News.